Hey guys, welcome back to Futurize YouTube channel. This video is regarding A triple E cutoffs. Most of you have been asking me regarding this, so I just thought of making this video. So make sure you share this with all of your friends who really need this. So this is a self-made video with the help of some of the students and teachers. So nowhere found on internet or on any other YouTube. In this video, I'll be covering A triple E marks versus branch, marks versus campus, the closing ranks, the fee structure, scholarship based things, and the slabs details and all that are uh, slowly so may so that you will be understanding it. This video is for this channel only. I don't want anyone to copy this video. Okay, so let's continue it. So just take a look at what are all the branches that are available in different campuses. So as you can see that Coimbatore is the main branch which has got almost many specializations and all the branches out there so I'll be covering all the cutoffs uh, for some of the major branches because I didn't find the data for some of the branches and yeah all this data is collected from some of the Amruta students and also some teachers whom I contacted using linkedin and just seeing their profile on instagram last year it was like for different marks so i just have to calculate the ratio and just find out with the help of some of the teachers of amruta uh, i just made this which could just give an idea of what the cutoff for each and every campus could be so and also if you haven't liked the video just like it uh, before we start and do follow me on instagram at the rate futurized.tech follow yeah let's start also do subscribe guys subscribe and hit the bell icon just join the discord like everyone are there some 800 students discussing about these exams and all that so yeah starting with amruta school of engineering amruta puri so here are the cutoffs so for the computer science it is 115 and for specialization it is from 105 to 120 for ai and ml but just uh, this could be the least possible thing okay this is for general category not state quota and all that in general these are the cutoffs for computer science it could be like 115 and if you want specialization you can just take to be 110 or 105 like that so for electronics and communication engineering it is 100 for electrical and electronics engineering it is 80 for mechanical engineering it is 85 so this is one of the branch which has the least cutoffs like uh, the remaining branches are having higher cutoffs so coming to the main campus Amruta school of engineering Coimbatore so here are the expected closing rank yeah this is uh, made because like this could even change because like most of you have copied in the exam and the cutoffs can drastically change but yeah this is what I expect and this, this will be most probably right so aerospace engineering if you get 100 marks uh, you could get go there civil engineering 85 or even 95 okay 85 could be possible but 95 is a safe score chemical engineering 85 to 90 computer science so csc main brand main one will be like 145 to 150 cut off and if you want csc ai and ml it is like 155 and csc cyber security is 145 so these are the things and yeah some of these branches I didn't mention for Amruta Puri campus as you can just see I just mentioned five of them here for Amruta Puri there are actually one two seven so you can try the remaining I don't have the cutoffs for that but uh, these are the major branches of all these so yeah electronic and communication engineering it is 129 and electrical and electronics engineering at 115 to 120 electronical instrument engineering is 90 to 97 yeah these are all marks or oh, expected closing rank sorry uh, this is marks i just mistyped it and if you get these marks you can get into this coimbatore branch so the last possible one will be like 85 marks you can get into chemical engineering and if you want CSC, it's like 145 bare minimum. So 150, it's good. Uh, you can get into CSC, Coimbatore campus. And if you are taking AI, just make sure that your marks are about 155. So do you have better chance? And yeah, we'll be discussing about scholarships and all that in this video. So make sure you're watching until the end. Yeah, uh, 
and what I've missed is electronic and instrumentation it is 90 to 97 mechanical engineering it's 120 to 125 to 132 yeah that cutoff is also a bit high because i think mechanical engineering is good at this campus so amrita school of engineering chennai yeah this is also a branch i don't know uh, most of you don't know that it is a branch yeah there are four branches for amrita so here is the thing for chennai it is 120 csc for ec it is 90 marks for csca 125 to 135 marks and for electrical and instrumentation engineering it is 95 mechanical engineering 110 so all those which i didn't mention those cutoffs will be like below 90 and all that okay and amruta school of engineering bangalore so coming to this the cutoffs for this bangalore one computer science is 110 so like if you want computer science in any of the branches like safe score is if you are having 110 above you can just get computer science in any of these four branches based on these cutoffs and yeah if you want to join amruta in any way like there is even management quota too you can join it so electronics and communication engineering it is 90 electronical sorry electrical and electronics engineering it is 95 to 100 electrical and instrumentation engineering it is a 95 but yeah even some 90 or 85 will also be good for this particular bangalore one and mechanical engineering yeah it is good in this branch so it is 110 yeah talking about the state quota uh, there is even state quota as like last year but i don't know whether it will be this year or not so if they uh, they might consider for state quota for some students so if your luck is so good like even if you get very low score like even less than 80 and all if you can get into main branch or, or even that if you are in the state quota according to the branch okay so it all depends on luck if you get state quota that and yeah and also you have one more advantage the thing is that many of the students have already taken admission into like colleges like vit srm and all that so they're not gonna join amruta anyway because this is strict and all that so uh, all these cutoffs i mentioned in the video is for general open quota not state quota so management quota is there and also if you have some known teachers you can just join the college with the help of them and yeah you will be joining with a scholarship slab too if you are joining with some teachers yeah and safe score for each campus like uh, the least cutoff from any of the branches that safe core safe score and also yeah take a look at those branches that i didn't mention in this video so i have completed all the branches now talking about the seats so you can see here amrutapuri campus has got four 59 seats bangalore has got 459 seats they are same almost like coimbatore has got 867 seats and chennai has got 300 seat so getting into chennai is like a bit uh, there are lesser seats so if you want coimbatore there are larger number of seats yeah this these seats include management quota and normal seats and yeah scholarship seats are like 108 seats in these branches and coimbatore 204 scholarship yeah scholarship will be like 90 percent 85 percent and all i'll show you and yeah talking about the total number of students that have attended phase one two three in 2021 like who have written exam like each exam will be counted so it is 75k so you can have, think that some people have written the exam twice or phase one and two like that so you can think that there would be like 50k students actually who have written the faces uh, the highest marks will be considered of all and in that uh, students like some of them has already joined particular college and some of them will not join amruta because it is strict and so you'll be having like for one seat there would be competition of 20 or so so there is uh, if you follow these cutoffs you are definitely gonna have some better scope over others and you are talking about the scholarship fee this is from their official website so you can see there are four slabs 
and like the topper students will get it like for one lakh and these slabs yeah will these slabs be fixed for all the years so for most of the student these slabs will be fixed like if you are not at all studying or if you are studying too well then the slabs might be changed but generally these slabs will be fixed for most of the students as uh, i inquired from the students of amruta yeah if you're wondering how i have inquired them like i went to linkedin searched out amruta school of engineering i just got a lot of students i just searched those students name on instagram and just contacted them so yeah these are the things regular fees and if you think of management quota it would be like uh, 2 lakhs 2 to 3 lakhs more for the first year so yeah you can see the fee structures of all these things and yeah some other branches as well so caution deposit is there which is 10,000 rupees so guys thank you for watching this video until the end i hope i have provided a great value to you with all these cutoffs so make sure you like this video because this is one of this kind like no one has made or any website has made it so just it just took me a lot of time and also do subscribe guys please subscribe yeah subscribe thank you thank you very much for subscribing and also hit the bell icon if you want more updates regarding this exams and all that so there is counseling and all that we'll be discussing about that too soon and yeah also do join our futurized discord server where there are a lot of students discussing about these things like 800 800 of them so yeah thank you for watching this video